This video is made possible by our loyal Patreon supporters. Visit patreon.com slash psychetruth. Hi, it's Banks and welcome to the Banks Method. I've got a total body barless bar workout with a focus on burning out those inner thighs. So all you'll need is a towel today and then a mat and we'll go ahead and get started. The Banks Method is my unique combo of ballet, bar, and Pilates exercises designed to maximize lengthening and strengthening of the muscles with fun, dance-inspired movements. You can find all of my workouts on Amazon Prime Video and the Yoga Plus app. So we'll go ahead and just place our towel to the side and we'll get started in the center of our mat, just warming up here. We'll bring our hands on our hips and just start lifting those knees, bringing the right knee, then the left knee up into the chest. Just pointing through those toes. Think about landing toe ball heel, just rolling through those ankles, warming up that ankle joint. Now let's bring those arms overhead, reach up nice and high, keep lifting those knees a little bit higher here. Breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. Now let's start to pull our elbows back behind us. We pull and pull. So as that knee lifts, you hide the elbows behind the back, open up through the chest, broaden through those collarbones. Let's do eight more here. We got seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last one. We're gonna go into a lateral lunge, right leg, and then we take it, left leg comes out. So you sink those hips back. Your knee tracks right over the toe. The weight goes into that heel. Maybe step out a little bit farther than your mat and then squeeze the inner thighs as you come in. Good, one more like that. And then we're gonna add those arms. Now we add a little twist, left fingertips to right ankle. Come center, twist, come center. Good, we got four more here. And then we hold it, three, last two. Good, now hold it to the left side, find a little pulse. Reach those fingertips long. Good, for four, three, two. Let's take it other side. Reach, little tap and pulse. Good, for four, three, two. Come back into the center. Let's find a chair pose. Squeeze those inner thighs together. Sink the hips down and back. If you gaze down, you can't see those toes. Send the weight a little bit farther back into those heels. Press the palms together. We pulse it down an inch, up an inch. It's down and up. So the tailbone's tucked under ever so slightly. That belly button's pulling up towards the spine. The core is super engaged. And then try to keep your neck nice and long here. Squeezing those inner thighs as you lift. Should be able to wiggle those toes. Now let's reach those arms long. Keep it going, it's down and up. Lower. And lift, just four more here, and then we pulse it at the bottom. Good, three, last two. Let's hold it low, hold it low. Pulse it here. Just building some heat into those thighs. Good. Add a challenge, you can rise up onto those tippy toes. Find that core engagement. We pulse it for eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Ooh, hold that core, two. Then drop those heels. And we're gonna do a little bit of planking. So go ahead down on your mat. Hands right below those shoulders. Shift the weight forward onto the toes. From here, we're gonna start tapping the right fingertips to the left shoulder and then switch it to the other side. Little tap and tap. So if you need a modification here, widen out those feet to get a little bit wider of a foundation. The focus is on keeping those hips as still as you can. Stabilizing with that core. We're warming up the shoulders, warming up that core. Good, just four more here. Three, two, last one, hold it center. Come back into the middle, right toe taps, then left toe taps. So you just tap that side of your mat, pointing through the toe. You're making a little rainbow with the leg, squeezing the glutes. Good, just four more here. We got three. Last two, good, last one. We come down to our forearms, just holding a forearm plank here. Squeeze the inner thighs, we got 10 count. And then we're taking a quick child's pose. You have nine, feel those elbows pulling towards your toes. Toes are pulling towards the elbows and you feel a shake in the core. 
So you're super engaged. We got four, three, two, one, and take a child's pose. Stretch it out real quick. And then we're gonna swing those legs around. We're gonna do one more abdominal exercise laying down. So go ahead and just plant those feet down onto the mat. We lift our head, neck, and our shoulders up nice and high. From here, bring that right leg into a tabletop. Then the left leg, so the knees are stacked right over the hips. We're gonna start pumping our arms, inhaling. Lift a little bit higher as you exhale. Inhale. Exhale. So this is our Pilates hundreds here. The arms are straight. The shoulder blades are off the mat and then keep a little space in between your chin and your chest. Like there's a little orange under there. If you wanna add a challenge, press those legs out to 45. We inhale, exhale. Even more of a challenge, we lower it down. Exhale to lift. So your whole spine is pressing down on that mat to support that low back. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, just two more here. Exhale, last one, hold it at the bottom, lift up a little bit higher, 10 count, hold for nine, squeeze those inner thighs for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And we're gonna come all the way up to standing. Now that our core is nice and warm, we're gonna work on some balancing work, working those thighs, specifically our inner thighs. So, feet are right underneath those sits bones. We're gonna just start working the calves, hands are on the hips. We'll just start lifting and lowering here just to feel pulling up and out of the waist, rising up to those highest tippy toes. You can do whatever you want with the arms here. Maybe bring those arms overhead if that feels good, or you can take them out to a T. You wanna feel that core nice and tight, squeezing on the glutes as you lower down. Now we're gonna hold the heels up high. Now I want you to bring the arms forward. We bend the knees, trying to bring that the glutes down to knee level. From here, we squeeze those inner thighs, then we open. It's a tiny movement. So we're gonna work in that working zone. This requires so much focus, so much balance, because we don't have a bar there. So focus one point in front of you, squeeze, tap the knees, then open. We have four like that. Try to stay low the whole time. You got three. Good, last two. Next one, we're gonna hold those knees together. We take it down three inches up one inch. Feeling that shake right away down three inches, up one inch. Squeeze those knees together like you have a piece of paper in between them. Down three inches, up one inch. Just two more like that. And up one inch. The last one, we hold it at that lowest point. We open, close for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it here, we pulse it down up. Let's bring those arms overhead, getting our heart rate up a little bit more. Good, maybe bring those heels up a little bit higher for that added challenge. We got 10 here, find that shaky, shaky point. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, come all the way up. We're gonna bring those heels together, toes apart. This time take a bend into the knees and then we extend that right leg out long, flex through the foot. Make sure both hip bones are nice and even here. And then we're gonna just lift it up and lower it down. So we lift and lower. This is less about how high you can get that leg. So I don't wanna see you kicking that leg up. We wanna think about keeping our spine nice and still. And then we're just lengthening that leg out. That heel reaches away from the hip. And you pull up through the inner thigh. So the heel is in, the toe is out. And then make sure you're not locking out that standing leg knee. You got a little bend there. Good, now we're gonna hold it up. Good, pull that core in tight. Make sure you're not tucking that tailbone under. Neutral spine from here, we find a little lift. It's up, down, up, down in that working zone again. Good, give me 10 more here. We have nine, eight, leg a little bit straighter for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, now point through the toe. We tap our toe to the knee and then extend it out. Toe to the knee, extend. So if that's a little bit too much and you feel your hip flexors, go to toe to ankle here. It's a good modification. If you want a little bit more, toe to knee, hold that core. Good, let's bring those arms out to a T to help us here. So feel that knee pressing out as you come in. We have three. Last two, 
Get ready, grand finale here. We hold it out, that toe is pointed. We have little tiny circles, just tracing about a basketball sized circle with that leg. Good, now let's reverse that circle. Feel that inner thigh starting to shake. So much tension in that inner thigh as you lift. Good, two more here. Last one, awesome job. Roll out those ankles, take a second. And then we're gonna hit that other side. So heels together, toes apart. Take that bend into the knees, send that left leg out, let's tap and lift. We take it down, up. Try to resist as you lower down, control it on the way down and the way back up. And make sure both hip bones are nice and square. We have four more here, three, two. Good, let's hold it up on the next one. We have a 10 count lift. So check in, make sure that toe isn't pointed up towards the ceiling, it's out towards the corner. Everybody has different rotation, so it might not be as much as me, that's okay. You just wanna feel that rotation coming from the top of the hip. Good, we got four more here. Three, two point that toe, toe to knee, and extend it out. My left leg is a lot tighter, my hamstring's a lot tighter on that left side, so it's not gonna go as high, that's okay. I'm just focusing on the straightness, the extension for four. We got one last change after this, three. Good, arms out to a T2. Last one, circle it out for four. Three, two, reverse that circle other way for four. Three, two, last one, nice job you guys. Shake it on out, we'll come down to our mat, go ahead, grab your towel, and then we're gonna place it just above the knees. And then get a nice squeeze on that towel. From here, we're gonna rock back until we feel that core catch. Make sure the rib cage is down, core is in nice and tight, and then we're gonna come into a boat pose. So if at any time this is too much, you feel your low back, just keep those heels down. Otherwise, we're in that boat pose. Squeeze in on that towel. From here, we take it back an inch and up an inch. It's back. Exhale as you pull those knees into the, into the chest, deepening those abdominals every time. If you feel good here, you bring those arms out. Good, open up through the chest, keep breathing, inhale, exhale. We got four, just three, last two. Now we find a hold here, find a squeeze in on that towel. It's a tiny movement, just a little contraction of those inner thighs. We have 10 here, and then we're coming down to the mat for nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lay all the way down. Take a full body stretch. Press those heels down, and then roll it on up. Keep that squeeze of the inner thighs, and we roll it all the way back down. Let's do that again. Exhale, roll it on up. Take that stretch forward, and then roll down bone by bone. Okay, if you want that added challenge. As you roll up, you bring those legs into a tabletop. Oh my gosh, ooh, breathe. And then roll it back down, extend those legs long. Exhale, legs come into a tabletop. We extend those legs out, arms come out. Control it on the way down, just two more like that. Last one. Good, now extend those legs out. From here, we find that inner thigh squeeze for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Roll it on down. Awesome job, you guys. Okay, we're gonna roll over onto our left side. So go ahead, find your towel, and then place it underneath your right knee. And then you're gonna lay all the way down on that side. You're gonna use that left bicep as a pillow. Your hips are stacked, your shoulders are stacked. From here, we're gonna work that left inner thigh. We lift and then lower, up and then down. So it's a tiny movement here. Just a tiny, maybe just a couple inches off the floor, that's okay. A lot of the time I notice my foot likes to lift. You wanna lift from that inner thigh, not just the foot. So try to keep that ankle in line with the rest of your shin. Good, four more here. We have three, last two. Get ready, let's hold it up, circle it out. It's up and down. We circle up and down. You feel the shake of that inner thigh at the top of the circle. Just tracing a little dime-sized circle with that toe. 
Good, now let's reverse it the other way for five. We have four, last three, good, two, and one. Awesome job, you guys. Now grab that towel, we're gonna place it in between those ankles, Oops. and then you're gonna extend those legs out long. From here, place your top hand on the ground, using it just for a little bit more stability. We're gonna lift both legs, squeezing that towel and then lowering back down. So you feel that top oblique, that top side body firing up. Feel those inner thighs working. It's up and down. Lift and lower. So you wanna squeeze both glutes to keep the stack of the hips. It's up and down. Good, just four more here. Last three, good, two. Last one, hold it up from here. We lift the upper body up, pulse it for eight, seven, six, five, last four, three, two, last one. Now we're gonna grab our towel. So we got one final challenge. This is a major challenge. So I'm gonna show two options. So towel is in the hand from here. We lift up, press into that left hand slightly. You come into a teaser. So this is a side teaser. You're balancing on that left glute. You reach the towel towards the toes and then you bring it back down. So that's your first option. Second option, you can bend those knees, coming into a tabletop. It's a great place to start. Still super challenging. So you're squeezing those inner thighs, using the core to bring you up and lower back down. You really have to control it on the way back down. Good, two more here. Whew. Requires so much control, last one, hold it up. Now see if you can grab the towel into both hands and we roll all the way back down and then scoot back onto your mat if you fell off like me. And then we're gonna place that towel in between the ankles here. So fingertips go behind the glutes in a little triangle. And then from here we lift up, going into a reverse crunch up and back down, we lift and lower, taking it up and down. So you're just pricking those toes up to the ceiling, feeling those low abdominals firing up. It's a really, really small movement. So if you're going here for just using momentum, you're not gonna feel those low abs work. So when you make it smaller and you squeeze those inner thighs, it really recruits that hard to reach area, those low abdominals. Good, we got eight more here. Last seven, and then we're gonna work those glutes. We got six, five, four, three, two. Last one, and then hug those knees in. We're gonna rock and roll it on up. Bring your towel with you. And we're gonna flip around, coming into a tabletop position. Go ahead, fold up that towel, and then we're gonna place it behind the right hamstring here. Both hands are down, a little bend into the elbows, flex through that right foot, and then scoop the abdominal so you find your neutral spine. Take that sway out of the low back. From here, we tap the mat, we lift up, then we cross the right knee over the left calf, and then we lift it back up, return to your start position. Up, cross, lift, and tap. Up, cross, lift, and tap. So once you, Place a little bit more weight into the right hand than the left, so you take that pressure off the left side. You're just focusing on that right glute, and then as you cross it over, you feel that inner thigh squeeze. Check in with your core here. Keep pulling that navel up towards the spine. And then notice what your neck is doing. So a lot of the time we like to look up, that ruins our neutral spine. So try to keep that neck nice and neutral. We got four more. Squeeze on that towel to really work the hamstring. Three. Good, last two. Next one, we hold that cross over. Find a little squeeze here. We tap and tap for 10, nine, eight, seven, six five, four, three, now hold it up at the top. Find a little lift, it's up for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, last two, and one. This time we're gonna center off that left hand. Now we open up, right arm lifts. So make sure that knee is right under the hip 
And then we're pulling up and away from that mat. You're squeezing both glutes. From here, we take it down and working that outermost part of the glute. And then you're really working that hamstring because you're squeezing that heel close to the seat. Feeling that hamstring contracting. Good. We got one final change after this and then we release that towel. Let's hold it up. Squeeze that heel to the seat. We find 10 count left for nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Get ready, we grab on for our towel. From here, we're gonna drop that right foot down. We lift our upper body up. So you're stacked right over that bottom knee. From here, we're gonna work the obliques. So we bend over to that left side slightly and then exhale, come back up. So this requires a lot of work on that right side. Feeling that side body cinch as you come up, get out. So try not to rotate those shoulders down. You wanna keep them stacked one on top of the other. And then you'll really feel that work in that side body and those obliques. And then press that right foot down onto the ground. So you're nice and anchored on that right side. Good, now let's hold it out. From here, we pulse for 10, nine, eight, seven, six. Keep breathing, five, four, three, last two, and one. Nice job, come all the way up and we're gonna do our side lying inner thigh work on the other side. So go ahead and lay down on that right side this time. And then we're gonna place that towel underneath the left knee. So it's underneath the top knee. And then from here, lay all the way down. Now we lift up through that right inner thigh, lower it down. Up and down, lifting and lowering. Let's flex through that foot. Feel that length in the legs. You feel nice long through the fingertips and out through that heel. One long line of energy here. Good, now let's hold it up, point the toe, let's circle it out, circle, squeeze. Good, just three more here. Last two. And let's circle it out the other way for four. Three, two, last one, hold it up. We find a little pulse up and up. We got 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, now let's place that towel in between those ankles and then extend those legs out nice and long. We lift both legs and lower back down. So you're basically balancing on that bottom hip. It's up and down. Good, just four more here. Three. You feel that bottom leg pressing against that top leg and then you feel that left oblique working. Get ready, let's hold it up. Now we lift that upper body up. We find a pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower it all the way down. Okay, let's grab on for that towel. Last little challenge, let's find our teaser. So same thing we did on the other side, we're gonna do on this side. Towels in the hand, come back to that side lying position. Press into that right hand. Now we rotate onto that right glute, lift up, use the core, control it on the way down. Lift up, squeeze the inner thighs, control. If you feel super strong here, you can release that hand. Control. Good, let's do one more. And roll it all the way back down, scoop back onto that mat, and then we'll place that towel in between those inner thighs. And we got a set of bridges. So from here, I want you to rise up onto those tippy toes. We're gonna work the calves. Squeeze in on that towel. Make sure your feet are about three inches apart. And then we lift up into our bridge and lower back down, hinging back down, up and down. So those arms are reaching long. Shoulders are down the back. Core is in tight at the top of that bridge. Squeeze the glutes. Give me four more here. Last three, two. Get ready to hold it up. We hold it up the top. We lower the heels, then lift them up for 10. 
So I want you to hover the heels over the mat to work those calves and then keep those glutes super lifted, squeeze them super tight. We got three more here and then we're gonna pulse it 10 counts at the top and you're done. Last one, hold it at the top, pulse it for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. Okay, let's rock and roll it on up and then we're gonna hit that left glute. So towel goes behind that left hamstring. Scoop the abdominals, flex through that left foot. We tap the mat, we lift up, squeezing the glute at the top, cross it over, lift it up, and come back to your starting position. It's up, cross, lift, and tap. Up, cross, lift, and tap. So check in here. Both hip bones are down towards your mat. Think about wrapping that left hip down to bring it in line with that right hip. Has a tendency to open up here. And then place a little bit more weight into that left hand. So we're working that left glute and then we're taking that pressure off that right side. Just three more here. Last two. Good, get ready, hold it crossed over. Find a squeeze of the inner thigh. Think squeeze, cross, squeeze, cross. For six, five, four, three, two, lift it up, find a 10 count pulse. For nine, eight, then we're out of this set and then we work that outermost part of the glute. For six, five, four, three, two, center off that right hand, open up. Now we take it down and then lift it up, down and up. Good, so notice how I'm not sinking into that shoulder. I'm really using my right oblique to pull up and away from that mat. Let's hold it up, pulse it up for eight, seven, then we release that towel for six, five, four, three, two, one. Grab on for it and then use your core to bring you all the way up. Make sure that knee is stacked right underneath the hip. Sit up nice and tall and then press down through that left foot. Both your hips are square towards the front. And then we're gonna work that left oblique. So we bend over to that left side. Use the core to bring you up. So you can take your time on this one. Go at your own pace. Doesn't have to be quick. It's more about that control on the way up. Good, we're opening up our chest to our front. Good. Exhale. Good, two more here and then we hold it down and pulse it for 10 counts and then you're out of it. Good, last one. Good, now let's hold it down, let's pulse it. Find that lowest point where you can still keep the core engaged and keep those shoulders stacked. We got five more, four, good, three, last two and one, come all the way up. Nice job. Okay, we're gonna finish off today with a little bit of core work. So same way we started class, we're gonna finish it. Come to your plank position. Always an option to come down onto those knees and just focus on that core engagement. Otherwise, we're up on those toes, shift the weight forward. We tap those shoulders side to side. A great option is widening out those feet. So now you're nice and warm. Those shoulders are warm, your core is warm. So you can really focus on that perfect form here. Good, we got five, four, three, two, last one. Now bring both feet into the center, tap that right foot, then the left foot. Right, then left, make that rainbow nice and sharp. You tap one side of the mat, then the other. Good, keep shifting that weight forward. We have four, and then we come down into our forearm plank, three. Last two, and one, hit that forearm plank. If you need to come down to those knees, you can focus on that core, or we're up on those toes. We shift the weight forward and back for 10 seconds, and then you are done. We have nine, eight, seven, six. Scoop the abdominals for five, four, last three, two, and one. 
Drop down to those shins. Stretch out that low back. Take a child's pose. Take a second to breathe. And then come into a tabletop. Let's take one cat and cow to roll out that spine. We look up at the ceiling on our inhale. Exhale, curl the tailbone under, gaze at the belly button. And then find that neutral spine. We're gonna send those legs through. Take a little hamstring stretch here. Take a little micro bend into the knees to start. And then take a deep inhale. Stretch long through those arms. And on your exhale, take a little fold forward. Just grab for those toes. And then just feel that low back starting to stretch out. When you're ready, you can start to straighten out those legs a little bit more. Trying to keep that flat back position. And then you can let that back around, bringing the nose down to those knees. And then slowly roll it on up. We're gonna open up, right leg comes out long, and then bend the left knee in. We're gonna reach those left Fingertips up and overhead, stretch out that side body. We did all that oblique work. Super important to find length in that side body after you work it. And then let's rotate that nose down to the knee. Stretch out that right hamstring. And let's switch it to the other side. Extend out that left leg. Reach that right arm up and over. Try to stack those shoulders. Deep inhale here. Exhale, rotate that nose down. And let's roll it on up. One more inner thigh stretch. We're gonna find a wide straddle. And then from here, flex through those feet and slowly start to walk those fingertips down. Huge inner thigh stretch, so try to just breathe into this, not forcing anything. We'll just stay here for about 10 seconds. Maybe walking those fingertips out a little bit longer. Try to keep those toes pointed up to the ceiling and nice and active in those quadriceps. And when you're ready, roll it on up. Thanks so much for working out with me. I hope you enjoyed this workout. I recommend doing this workout three to five times a week to really see and feel the change in those inner thighs. And I hope to see you again soon. Many of our subscribers don't see our videos. Make sure that you click the notification bell. And if you haven't already, follow us on social media for tips, tutorials, giveaways, and daily inspiration.